So, um, Dabers and I are cousins. We used to be joined at the hip. Like feckin' Keith and Eilish. You remember them? Yeah, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think of A Real Pain as a kind of complicated story of these two guys, two cousins whose lives have diverged in a kind of funny way. Listen, I think we should check you in. I did a thing online. Oh, no, I did. I checked in a while ago. Sorry, when did you get here? A few hours ago. Really? Yeah. I mean, the flight's not for another, like, two hours. Yeah, but they open the airport super early. You could just come here and hang out. You meet the craziest people here, dude. David is kind of, you know, constantly second-guessing himself, constantly worried about the future. And Benji is this unencumbered free spirit who is this incredibly charming guy. Wait, you're not, like, taking weed into Poland, are you? Yeah, really? They're, yeah. they're gonna arrest two Jews in Poland for a little bit of weed. That's a good look <laughs> okay. for the Polish people. All right, all right, just try to keep it down. The two characters of David and Benji are so beautifully complex and moving while being extremely funny. Their grandmother, that they were both pretty close to, dies, and they go back to Poland and see where she came from and do a tour. Oh, hey, can I borrow your phone, man? Don't you have a phone? Yeah, but it doesn't play music. I just like jokes more than anything, but if I can set them in the context of something dramatic, I feel like there'll be some kind of spark there. David and Benji's grief for their grandmother was so elegantly written. There was comedy within it in the relationship between cousins. Oh, yeah. Dude, I totally forgot. You have super nice feet. Do I? Yeah, and they've aged really well, too. They remind me of grandma's feet. Benji is very charismatic and lovable and just sort of lives moment to moment. You never really know what you're going to get. Does it look real? Uh, well, they're, they're twice the size of you in metal, so, you know, no. David feels like the adult, and he's gotten married, he's had the kid, and Benji is so unfiltered and like a child, and when you see them in action and you see them interacting, it's hilarious. You don't need to get the hat. Do you want one too? No, you look like the Ricola man. What frustrates Benji is how much David has changed when he feels like he hasn't. I know you're not the most comfortable person with groups and people and... I'm not? No, but it's amazing that you're here putting yourself out there so boldly for me. Thank you, man. Let's go smoke a joint. You want somebody to feel something. And I hope people can experience it as seeing these mismatched two guys flail alongside each other in these various contexts. The conductor's gonna come through taking tickets. We tell him we're going to the bathroom. This is ridiculous. Tickets are probably like 12 bucks. It's the principle of thing. We shouldn't have to pay for train tickets in Poland. This is our country. No, it's not. It was our country. They kicked us out because they thought we were cheap. 